this is Stevio playing over here in the 50s. We are in Marksville, Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah, I know you're hungry. I know, I know, I'll try to get to you. But today we got a special day. Uh, we're gonna go a little tractor shopping. But first, we gotta haul some milk here. Uh, we got quite a bit of uh, canisters full of milk we need a haul to the store uh, we need a little spending cash to uh, buy some seeds for the planter let's just say that dart up old redder I guess it's not really old it's new but uh, it's kind of like it's not right not calling this old red I mean look at it it is a little sloppy uh, muddy today you can see we're kind of leaving a mess around the yard so we're gonna try to do this without getting the wife super appealed. Flip this up. Oh yeah. Put it up, up, up. Drop it in there. Oh, 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 don't roll out there. Uh, I wonder who put a handprint on all these. Oh man, I just tipped over the one up in there. Don't tip over. Whew. Okay. Let me tell you, I know one is tipped over in there. I don't wish that on anybody. I'm pretty sure I spent a half hour getting these onto the truck. Wow. That is hard. I know I like playing realistic, but uh, farm sim physics. Uh, yeah, they weren't working for me. I don't wish that on any of you, but they're loaded. Let pray stay on there, please. Very carefully. No one move. Whoo, whoo. We need a big payday. We need them to stay on here. Stay. All right. So we're gonna haul this down the road a little bit, and then. Once we get our little payday, we're going to go visit the local dealer. Yep, there's a dealer in town. All right. Money, money, money. Money, money. Yeah, we we got about $1 per canister. Uh, it's big money. At least it feels like big money. But to be honest, we need to probably update the planning tractor. I know I bought a few tractors lately. I've been one. I've had an eye on the local dealership, so uh, yeah, I think we should upgrade. You never know. So I borrowed my buddy's 41 Chevy here. We're gonna take this down to the dealer and hopefully find a good deal. Yeah, this this thing is kind of an odd color. Let's just say uh, you don't usually see this color back in the day, but can't say it wasn't made. My uh, buddy, he's a hot rod collector, you could just say. So uh, he paints his truck like a hot rod back in the day. I kind of like it. And it screams, by the way. Yep, got to give Sam, Sam the man, a little uh, honkity honk. Man, this thing is screaming. Look at that. 75. No one on the road. Just flying down this beautiful countryside here. All right, we are coming up on the town here. Little town of Marksville. We got us a dealership right out front. Uh, let's just say they have everything here. Like every brand of tractor. buy anything at this dealership. Look at all the beautiful tractors. Look at this, an old Alice. WD-45. And we got a Minneapolis Moline. Oh, yeah. This will give our little narrow front run for the money. This definitely give us some stability and won't be quite as a uh, 
rocking back and forth as other, our other one, but uh, I don't know. I kind of, I kind of dig my narrow front. Yeah, one of the first sassy massies out here. Look at this, this old girl. What is this? A thirty? Not for sure. Yep. Yep. Don't see a lot of these around here. A Massey Harris and a John Deere 620 power steering. Hmm. Looks like it has a free point on the back. And it's pulling a whole two row planter. Yep. We are a little bit more advanced than that. We gotta have a four row. It's not as big as Sam's six row, but uh, I think it's big timing. Oh. It starts up good. What the heck is this thing over here? We got a track system here. Well, you don't, we don't see this every day, so. I know this thing probably isn't uh, old. You used to see a lot of these to kind of be a plow tractor back in the day, but uh, I don't know, it might just fit. I know it's not exactly 50s, but uh, it has that 50s feel. I'm not completely up on Fiat, I think. Uh, but, whew, good looking tractor. I mean, I think this thing is cool. Just look at them arm controls right there. Uh, what do we have here? 720 here. It does have a cultivator. A two row cultivator. That could come in handy. We're definitely going to have some corn to cultivate. I was looking for a four row, though. <laughs> wouldn't mind having this diesel power steering looking good now this caught my eye this corn picker so the only problem is we you this looks like a 36 inch roll how wide it is because it's on a narrow front ear corn ear corn picker here puts the ear corns into the kill bros I think this would be a great option on the farm. And hey, we got to I'm tired of picking that ear corn by hand. We got to we got to pick it up. We got a whole 80 acres to run here. Looks like they have another Chevy over there in the back. And I got another one here, another uh, Chevrolet, a low master bed on the back. <laughs> yep, looking pretty good. They got tow truck back here now what the heck is this thing okay I mean look at this this fun thing now this could be fun I mean look at the turn radius on oh, I gotta get out in the middle here I mean the turn radius on this thing is sick Definitely, if you're running something, I don't, what does this thing probably have about 60 horse max, so it could probably run. If it was running a cultivator, that would be uh, one of the first of its kind. And look how high of corn, so this is a extreme high boy. But... If you move this hitch up, it would be extreme high boy. One of the probably the first high boys out there. Be great for high corn cultivation. But uh, definitely gonna get some uh, head turns while you're working along the highway. Let's just say that. We got another uh, Fiat here. And we got a fleet side here. Looks like Sam, Sam the man, truck here, different color. Uh, what do we got here? Another, so we got a uh, duels in the back now. You don't see that every day. 720, John Deere. This isn't a power stroke or power steering. You don't see it at least. 
power stroke. That's funny. Uh, McCormick Deering, standard W9. Now that's another good looking uh, tractor. I like how they prepare you for getting stuck in the middle of the field. Give you a hitch right on front. That's convenient, especially for me. Uh, McCormick Farmall here, M. Looking good. Got a 30 series Ford here, flatbed. Huh. Man, there's so much stuff to look at here. I've never seen so much cool stuff. 720 diesel. John Deere here. This has power steering. That wouldn't be bad. Got some wear rates. Not, you know, you definitely can't, uh, you know, there's just a few options. You're not going to get a lot of options here. You, I mean, you can get, uh, well, this appears like it doesn't have a three point, maybe a two point, has two remotes, and a, a PTO shaft. Okay. This tractor does not have a three point, but it has one remote, PTO shaft. A duels in the back now you don't see that every day looks like we got a 540 a 730 diesel hmm. power steering we just look a little off different tent like this one's been out in the Sun a little bit too long good-looking tractor a John Deere model a with a three-point on the back Huh. I, I guess I didn't realize that these a Model A would come with uh, hydraulics and uh, three point. Maybe they did. Maybe they did. I would like to know what these pedals are right there for. Never seen Model A up close. That would be interesting. Oh, got uh, 830 diesel, power steering. Yeah, put the Sam the Man to a shame with this thing. Definitely a plowing tractor or a cultivating tractor. Definitely a huge, huge beast here. Look at that, you got so much protection down there. Yeah. It's almost like you're sitting in a truck cab. Weird. Weird. Huh. What do we got here? We got a uh, 830 diesel John Deere here. Power steering. Looking good. Looking good. Got two remotes. Hmm. I do like how you kind of get in the back on these things. Kind of climb up. Shimmy to the side. You know, you might have to stay in shape to be able to fit through there. You know, if you're too big, you're going to have to jump higher. I mean, here's another Farmall. Nope, 460, three-point. Man, I have to say, you know, I'm not brand loyal by any means, but this is probably the best-looking tractor on this lot. That's why I have one, because, you know, what, that uh, six-cylinder engine in there, diesel? can't beat that that thing's a beast it has remotes right there so you hook up a uh, loader tractor extremely easy but we need to get in there wheel and deal to seal the deal on a few of these items thank you all for watching and I will see you next time over here in Wisconsin later y'all <laughs>